Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Find the limit of x to the power of 4 minus 16 divided by x minus 2 as x is approaching to 2. Step number one, always plug in, in this case, x to be 2, and you would discover this equals to exactly 0 divided by 0, which is one of the seven types of indeterminates. And that simply signals to you that you have to move forward to either factoring or sometimes multiplying by the conjugate or sometimes applying for the difference of cubes, sum of cubes, or even L'Hopital's rule. It really depends on the actual function. But in this example, when it goes straight to factoring. Now, I'm going to erase this so I can kind of write in the same space. Now, the reason I'm doing this exact example is because sometimes you don't only factor once you can factor twice in fact you can factor as many times as you need to in order to get closer to that final answer so if you think about x to the power of 4 minus 16 the first step is to apply the difference of squares so think about the fact that a square minus b square is going to be a minus b a plus b or a minus b times a plus b so in this case it's going to be x square minus 4 times x square plus four now notice is not enough we can't cross anything else from the top and the bottom yet so you factor again you copy the limit as x is approaching to two you can leave the denominator as is and recognize that x square minus four will give you x minus two x plus two and can leave x square plus four as is so fyi there's no rule called the sum of squares there's difference of squares, but not sum of squares. And again, the fact that you can cross out x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 signals to you, you're almost there to get 100%. You plug in x to be 2. You can do a little bit of mental math. You can take the calculator. If you take 2 plus 2, that's going to be 4. 2 squared plus 4 is going to be 8. And 8 times 4 is going to be exactly 32. Now again, for most uh, students, they may just stop here and say, I found the answer, the answer is 32, this is good enough. What I would suggest to everybody is to spend one extra minute. Draw a graph. If you're doing it right, then your graph should be able to support that. And what I mean is this, if you spend one extra minute and you add a graph, so let's say this is 16, this is gonna be eight, Let's say this is negative two. Now I'm gonna switch colors to kind of show you what the graph looks like. Now, if I'm thinking about the graph y equal to x to the power of four minus 16 divided by x minus two, the idea goes as follows. Again, if I look at the y-intercept, that's gonna be exactly at zero and eight. And if I think about the x-intercept, uh, one of them for sure right here is gonna be negative two and zero. And you would discover there's going to be a cavity, a hole specifically at 232. And again, if you graph this, it's going to roughly speaking look something like that, right? And again, if you look at the left limit and the right limit as x is approaching to 2, it will give you exactly 32, which is what we did on the first page as expected. I hope this makes sense.